In this video we will be attempting to answer the question who, what, is Mystery Babylon, spoken of in the book of Revelation. Is it a nation, a city, a state, a religion? Or is it something else entirely? This is an age-old question that a multitude of people have attempted to answer for decades. Some believe it to be the Vatican, Rome, or Catholic Church. Others believe it to be Jerusalem, Mecca, or Iraq. The truth is however that no one knows, because it is a question which is impossible to answer with complete certainty. Many people strongly believe that since the Bible calls the name Babylon, that it must literally be referring to ancient Babylon, which is present day Iraq. It is my belief however that there is a reason why it is referred to as a mystery. And in my opinion this is because the land was unknown at the time that the prophets foretold of it and they simply described the things that they seen as best they could. The scriptures give us many characteristics which serve as clues as to the identity of this mystery. When we look at these numerous characteristics of mystery Babylon we must keep in mind that all of these characteristics can only be referring to one place. We can't pick and choose certain ones as we see fit, while leaving others out. In my mind however there is only one answer which fits all of the numerous characteristics literally, without having to force it. Therefore it is my belief that when the scriptures speak of mystery Babylon, they are referring to none other than the United States of America. Let's take a look at five of these clues, and see if Babylon, modern day Iraq, fits the description. Number 1. Babylon is a place with deep water ports. Revelation 18:17. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster, and all the company in ships, and sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off, 1818. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? 1819. And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas that great city, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate. The literal city of Babylon is over 400 miles from the Persian Gulf, and over 350 miles from Basra. The description found in Revelation 18 clearly shows that these huge ships will be within seeing distance of the city, and the people witness her destruction up close and personal. 400 miles away is certainly too far to be able to see the destruction of a city, even if it were from nuclear bombs. So this couldn't be Iraq aka ancient Babylon. America however is a nation surrounded by waters with deep water ports and quite easily fits this characteristic. Number 2. Mystery Babylon is a nation of commerce of imports. Revelation 18.3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. 18.9. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her, and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning. 18.11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man but their merchandise any more, 1815. The merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off, for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. These scriptures show us the important relationship Babylon the Great has with the rest of the world, as a critical factor in the world's economy. It is a such a major importer that the rest of the world depends on her to buy their merchandise. Iraq certainly isn't a major importer of the world's goods, but according to the World Factbook of the CIA, the United States is the number one importing country in the world. So much so that if the United States were to vanish today it would cripple the world's economy and bankrupt every nation on earth. Number 3. Mystery Babylon is known for her wealth. Revelation 18.16. And saying, Alas, alas that great city that was clothed in fine linen, and purple, and scarlet, and decked with gold, and precious stones, and pearls. 
1817 for in one hour so great riches is come to naught. According to one Fortune magazine article from 2015, America is the richest country in the world. With $63.5 trillion in total private wealth, America has more billionaires in it than any other country in the world with approximately 585 billionaires. As well as also having the largest population of millionaires of any country in the world with an estimated 14,814,453 millionaires. Which is approximately 41% of all of the world's millionaires. Number 4. Babylon is land of immigrants. Jeremiah 50:16. Cut off the sower from Babylon, and him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest, for fear of the oppressing sword they shall turn every one to his people, and they shall flee every one to his own land. Jeremiah 51:13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men, as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. Revelation 17 1. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. 17 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. America certainly is a melting pot of people, and has long been known as the land of opportunity and also a nation of immigrants. America holds the world's largest immigrant population, one out of five of the world's immigrants. Number 5. The Statue of Liberty One of the most recognized symbols of the United States would undoubtedly be the Statue of Liberty, which famously sits in a harbor overlooking one of America's most important cities, New York. However most people are totally unaware of the origin and meaning behind this monument, which is very symbolic of Babylon. In ancient times, Babylon was the greatest city in the world just like the US is the greatest country in the world today. Ancient Babylon was constructed by people that came from all parts of the ancient world. What we may call today immigrants. It is very interesting that the great symbol that is situated in the harbor of New York City, the Statue of Liberty, is a woman carrying a torch. New York City itself represents the city of modern Babylon the Great. New York is the financial hub and capital of the world. It is the center of American and multinational finance, marketing, and the location of the headquarters of the United Nations. The Bible refers to a dominant city in the last days that is a major center of commerce that will be destroyed in one hour. Mystery Babylon the Great Whore. Just like the United States. Mystery Babylon is called a lady, and has the symbol of the lady. Isaiah 47 7. And thou saidst, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. 47 8. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. 47 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children, and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries, and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. It is also mentioned in Revelation 17 1. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, 17-2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, 17-3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, 
having seven heads and ten horns. 17.4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. 17.5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. 17.6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus, and when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. 1718. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which regneth over the kings of the earth. All one has to do is a little research into the Statue of Liberty, created by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi. And they will quickly see that there is much more to this statue than meets the eye. Bartholdi did not originate the concept of the statue. The idea for creating a statue of liberty and freedom was first proposed by another Frenchman by the name of Edward Le Boulay. It was Le Boulay's idea and determination during the American Civil War that carried the idea from a simple notion to an actual project. Le Boulay, a French Freemason proposed the idea of a giant statue replicating a goddess that the Masonic movement idolized. Le Boulay proceeded to raise the financial support and commission Bartholdi to provide the sculpture of this goddess of illumination from ancient times. What deity was this? It was the goddess known by various names. Le Boulay and his fellow Freemason, sculptor Bartholdi referred to her as Libertas but she was also an early adoption by Romans of the Babylonian goddess Ishtar. Libertas was the name of an ancient Roman goddess adopted by the Romans perhaps as early as the 5th century BC and certainly by the 4th century BC. This goddess was the goddess of freedom because she promoted the ideals for the personal freedom to do anything that felt good. She was called the matron goddess of prostitution because she promoted sexual freedom. Indeed, she had invented the concept. To solve the mystery of Lady Liberty's identity, ambitious researchers puzzled together key quotes from the Bible and concluded that Lady Liberty must be the whore of Babylon described in the book of Revelation and Isaiah. And the woman, having a golden cup in her hand dot and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, Mother of Harlots and Abominations of the Earth. Like the Mystery Woman of Babylon, the Statue of Liberty symbolizes both a woman and a city. It is only fitting that an alluring statue of the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth should stand astride a world-renowned port beckoning the world to enter her. Since she was first erected in 1886, Lady Liberty has been entered by millions of strangers for the price of a cheap harlot. The city of Babylon in the United States is located only minutes from the Statue of Liberty on Long Island and was named after the ancient Mesopotamian city of Babylon.